Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. My name is Ace and I got another TF2 commentary here for you. As you can see, I am currently playing as a sniper doing some capture point. And this time, this video will be a little bit about the glorious Razorback. And when I say glorious, guys, I do mean who the hell uses this weapon with common sense? Everybody that uses this weapon that is not either, either trolling or making a video about it as I am doing right now is either a justified idiot or potentially has other reasons to use the weapon that I'm not aware of therefore I can't really judge the person on his sanity right anyway as many of you know the Razorback only has one purpose which is blocking a backstab and it doesn't necessarily block a backstab well it does of course but it also stuns in addition to the um to just blocking the backstab, it stuns the ability to use the knife for a couple of seconds. I believe it's like two seconds or so. It's a very short duration. But that's the only thing it does, and only one time. Once your Razorback has been used, you have to go back all the way to spawn to get a new one. It doesn't regen, it doesn't get back uh, on dispensers as far as I'm aware. So there's no point in actually using this weapon especially if you're fighting against a spy who has somewhat common sense now this this razorback is of course only used against spies that are very eager to backstab you the problem with that philosophy is very simple a spy also has a gun and that gun can kill you in two shots especially when they are using the ambassador and they get a headshot off if you're camping anyway and if they are using the uh, the enforcer, for example, I believe the two shots should be sufficient enough to take you out. And a Razorback doesn't block any shots. And while I was using the Razorback, uh, Razorback myself, as you can see in this video, or you can't see because it's another weapon I can use, but I have it equipped, the main concern that I had were not spies. There were spies on the enemy team, of course. I just didn't have much of an issue with them because I'm used to not having a Razorback on my sniper anyway. The problem that I did have as a sniper with not being able to have a secondary like an SMG, for example, were scouts. And a Razorback doesn't do anything against scouts. It doesn't do anything against anyone besides the backstab of a knife or with a knife from a spy. And even though spies can switch to their pistol and take you out in two shots, there's no logical point of using the Razorback besides getting a, a false sense of security while you're camping. But would you really like that? You shouldn't be camping to begin with, I suppose. And in addition to that, it's the weapon itself is so completely useless overall. I honestly think that even if they were to give it a regen, it would still be completely useless. Even if it was a permanent item so that spies could not do anything against you, it might have been somewhat useless, I suppose. What I do like to see with the Razorback, and this is a, uh, an, a suggestion that has been made several times in the past by a significant amount of TF2 players, is of course making it a better item, or even better, combining the Razorback with the Darwin Shield, which of course gives you a little bit of health. And then of course if your Razorback breaks, then you lose your additional health as well. Because the additional health is kind of useless as well, considering what you have to sacrifice for it, but that, that's probably a video for another time. Nonetheless, the b Razorback is completely useless and therefore I have to assume that everybody that uses this weapon who is not making a video or is not trolling is a complete and utter idiot. There is no way you can justify logically or uh, in theory or just in, you know, in the real world scenarios or in the real case, or in practice, I should, I sh that's the word I was looking for. You can't justify using the Razorback over, let's say, the SMG, or even just straight up the Jurati. At least the Jurati helps out your team, and it actually allows you to do more damage as well. But it also allows you to help your team out from burning to death, and of course there's the regen on the Jurati to begin with. So that's a lot more useful overall. And the SMG speaks for itself, especially that my main concern while I'm being a uh, sniper, of course, are scouts. And I do have a problem hitting scouts with headshots. I do find that an SMG fits perfectly for every single purpose on a sniper. It's just that I, 
I don't like the Razorback and if you are willing to become a good sniper, you shouldn't like it either. Nonetheless, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Razorback. But to conclude, it's useless. Spies can use their guns if they are aware of the fact that they do have a gun. And of course, it should, it's just useless. It, they should really buff the weapon or add the Darwin shield together to make it a little bit more interesting, to say the least. But without further ado, let's talk a little bit about the match itself. This is a bit of a stalemate, and it's not necessarily my fault. I was getting shots, I was getting kills, I was getting headshots, and so was the other sniper on my team. Unfortunately, we were both the main shooters, if you like, of the team. We were the only one getting proper kills, and but as a sniper, especially if you don't have an SMG, it's very hard to push up and not, you know, suffer major consequences of it. And therefore, it just proves that even if you are a decent sniper, like I missed a lot of shots, like for example on scouts and such in this match, it is just so much more important to have heavy classes with you. Like our vast majority of our team doesn't have much heavy classes, and those are always needed to push up. Also, a stupid mistake here on the demo man, but I didn't die fortunately enough. Nonetheless, we are about to make our final push because we have them trapped on second here quite nicely. They can't really get out, which is possibly another fatal mistake or fatal flaw in this design. Unless they are go going underwater, but a lot of people don't really uh, do that for some reason. But this was also another stalemate, and I really got pissed off because I couldn't counter certain situations, at uh, least certain situations, because I didn't have the SMG, and the Razorback doesn't do anything besides you know, protecting you from spies, and the worst part is, if there's no enemies, uh, enemy spies on the enemy team, and you're going to use the Razorback, then what purpose does it serve at all? You know what I mean? Anyway, let me know what you think. I think that the Razorback is the worst sniper item in the game right now, and they should really fix it. Let me know what you think. Perhaps you have suggestions to how they could improve the Razorback, or make it more interesting, like I said, combine it perhaps with the Darwin Shield? But let me know if you have any original ideas and I will catch you guys next time. Take care.